Howdy folks, TJ here. Today I've got some Sinclair QL goodness that I received in the mail. So last video I left off was pretty much with my QL, which sits right there, you can't quite see it. Uh, I booted it up for a first time, did an unboxing and all that, uh, but then thought best that I get those tapes refelted. Uh, sent them off to a friend that does that. I haven't received them back yet. Uh, so I've been just reading more about QL and trying to learn some ways that I'm going to be able to get some software on it because ultimately I want to use the QL and I want to enjoy some of the software. It's a little bit more difficult than some of the other platforms it seems on simple you know Mac, PC, or Linux you know computer and then quickly just copy something over and use it. It's a little bit more um, a little harder to do I guess um, although there may be an easy way that I'm about to figure out. We'll see. But first step is first. Um, I had some options to look at, some options on how am I going to put new media like uh, either SD card or some type of USB device, something that I can quickly plug into one of my more modern computers, download some stuff and slap it on and use it on the QL. So some options out there were I think like a Tetroid device or the gold card device which plugs into the left side of the um, QL as you're looking at it, an, an expansion port over there that allowed you to have you know media that you would plug into it and you could harness that media. Uh, another option I heard was like a QLSD uh, device and I really didn't um, explore that one too much because the third one, which is the one I went with, seemed to be a, right up my alley and it's called V-Drive, which is kind of neat that this V-Drive device you know, could actually replace the QL uh, micro uh, cartridge drives, which I didn't want to do, but there was an option to externally connect it, and that's what we're going to show here. So let's open the box. This comes from a gentleman named uh, Charles Ingley. He's, I think, in New Zealand, where he's based. And so I had touch bases after I sent my uh, carts off to get refilted, saying, hey, I want to you know, eventually get something. I need to save my pennies. I heard this V-Drive is kind of cool. What are my options? And I basically, in, in my email to him, said, you know, I want to keep my QL stock in terms of not replacing out uh, the micro carts, because I, I do want to be able to use them if I want to. Um, so the V-Drive can also be used externally. Uh, and um, so let's open the box. I took off my um, label, which had my address all written over it, because I don't want you guys all coming over my house, showing up one day for food or something, and steal all my QL goodies. Nah, just joking. <laughs> You're always welcome over here. We can have some beer and enjoy. So here's the box that it came in, and uh, on the very top of the box is a cable. And this cable is what's going to connect it externally. And I'm kind of glad I messaged him before it shipped because I had thought the cable came with it, and it didn't. Uh, so he had to make one up for me, and I sent him a little bit more money to get this special black little cable here. So there's the cable. I don't know if this is picking it up well or not, but... Anyway, it's a cable. <laughs> it's a Kundus. Bubble wrap. Reason I'm doing this unboxing my office, by the way, is I've got my dining room table filled with Atari 2600 and Odyssey 2, and I'm going to be doing a video on playing another game. Empty box. Another box on top here. And I'm going to need to use my scissors. So inside, nice another little box. Let's slit her open. Don't want to cut anything under it, so I'm being careful. This thing's really light. Boy, what did he send me? Some just bubble wrap? <laughs> but it must be a light device. So on the top of the box, there's a little paperwork. It says V Retro. New hardware, and it's basically a nice little letter saying thanks for your purchase. So, got a nice little letter, and it looks like you even signed it, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. All right. Empty box. Oh, you're going to be excited. Well, I know I am. More bubble wrap. So he took very good care on packing this nicely. That's cool.
smells nice. I have to look at it first before I show you. Oh, I had to make me a case too. So I told him that I wanted it to look really good and just not a little piece, you know, little PC board SD slot on the side. And he made me a case. I don't know if this is something he can do for everybody uh, or it will become a common stocked item eventually. But he had a design. And so let me look at it. It says QL on the top. I just need to quickly... Oh, it looks beautiful next to my QL. So I don't know if lighting is going to be right in here, but here's the front. QL. It's got nice little ribs. Top kind of shimmies around a little bit, but I'm guessing that's the way it is. Here's a side. Looks like an expansion slot. Probably to add, uh, to connect one side to the QL and the other side to add more of these, I guess, or other devices. Here's the front. It's got a little LED light. I'm guessing that must light up. Here's the SD slot. And I don't know if this is all going to be coming in. I'll do my best to kind of move it around here. Here's the SD slot. The other expansion side. Here's the bottom. It's got some rubber feet on it. Oh, yes! So, this is my first really outside of a QL itself purchase. An external SD V-Drive device. From what I understand, you just take a regular FAT formatted SD card and you can copy micro drive images to it. So you can do that from a Mac or Linux or anything that can write to a SD uh, card that's FAT readable. And these images are mountable on a QL just like it's a micro cart. So it's not super large files, but anything that fits on a regular micro cart type of device will work on this, which is perfect, I think, for me, what I'm trying to do. I'm going to add other expansions later, like probably the gold card or super gold card, and then that gives me even more options. But this one, I think, as a starting point, is going to be cool. There's a program called Q Emulator. It's not free. I think you can download it and use it and test it free, but then I think it's $35 to get a license for it. From what I understand, it's a QL environment that you can do on Windows or a Mac and easily create micro drive or micro cart images. So if I go and down, uh, you know, have some programs, I can create my own image, copy those programs to it, create a micro cart image if I'm understanding, put it on an SD card, stick it in here and be able to use it. Also, Dilwin, uh, popular in the QL community, has some done of uh, micro cart images that you can download and slap on an SD card and use them on the QL. So that's my goal. So the next step is to actually connect it up and try to use it. I've never read, or no, I've read, because I, lo I loaded Quill, but I've never written to a QL device because I don't have any carts. So I'm going to end up probably doing it on this first before doing it on a micro cart. All new to me, I need to pick up the book and read it again. But this is step number one, a beautiful cased V-Drive device for my QL. It's going to look bitchin'. So thanks for watching. My next video will be me trying to use this and see if it works. Thanks for watching. See you later.